So the first exercise which we recommend is lifting the arms and the arms have to be lifted up till shoulder level and the patient has to hold them there for 5 to 10 seconds. Then this is followed by an overhead abduction of the arms where arms are lifted above the head. Again they have to be they have to hold them in place for 5 to 10 seconds. After this arms on the side we tell the patient to keep the arms on the side and hold them and finally arms at the back. So if yes so you turn back and arms have to be taken on the back. So this is counted as one set and we tell the patient to do at least 15 to 20 sets in one day. So they can split it into sets of five each and they can do it three or four times a day. In addition to this, whichever hand has been operated, we tell the patient to stand next to the wall and take that arm gradually up. So stand next to the wall and take that arm gradually up. This also helps in the movement of the arm and also facilitates the movement of lymph. In addition to this, we also tell the patient to do the elbow wing exercise. So we tell the patient to keep their hands at the back of the head and to flap them like wings. Right? And this also needs to be done at least 50 to 100 times a day. In addition to this, we give all our patients an exercise ball and this exercise ball also helps in the movement of lymph. And this exercise ball, we tell them that whenever they are sitting idle, they need to press it at least 400 to 500 times a day.